All right, we're back. This will be part two of the video. Um, I just had to change up the depth of the pole and how close it is. Um, everything is all the same with the circuit. So anyone who doubts it, I'm moving it around quite a bit. Super simple, efficient circuit. That's how the light bulbs look. 40 watts. Um, and again, like I said, it's an inverter circuit that is auto-tuning, and what makes it different and special is it has an auto-tuning negative resistance injection into it. So, I'll turn it on, and it doesn't actually like to switch on because of what is occurring. You have to abruptly connect it back to the battery, then it kicks on, and it's auto-tuning. Um, the more heavy, it, it adjusts to the load dynamically, so... It's on my hand. All right, so the heavier the load I put on it, the brighter it should get and more auto-tuned it should get. So, we'll back up and we'll see it working. I can add a third bulb to that. And nothing really gets hot when the device is running either. The frequency is also still unmeasurable on the oscilloscope. I'll get another light bulb. Another 40 water. The radiant energy flickering is a little annoying, but is what it is. The radiant energy flickering is basically coming from the negative resistant side axe firing very rapidly. See if we can connect this good. There we go. So, the heavier the load you put on it, the more stable it becomes due to the auto tuning. It will eventually probably slightly dim out and then flicker again. Should have wireless power too because of the correct grounding. So, yeah, we still have wireless power. And the wireless power is coming from the abrupt switching of the. Um, the side axe that inject negative resistance into the circuit. I really thought that would light up here. Might not be making good contact because of the rust. So we have quite a heavy load being run. Back up and give you guys a good view. And I was hesitant to share this because of how super simple it is. It's, it's literally the most super simple thing ever. Just a battery. An inverter circuit modified for an auto tuning negative resistance injection. Um, and I was hesitant to share it because I wanted to patent it, patent it, and sell it, but um, it was just too crazy and too grand to not share. So, this type of efficiency from modules, a module that small, should be just about impossible. Um, and there's no heat. No heat builds up in the negative resistant components either. There will be zero heat build up there. Um, as the negative resistant switching occurs, there's actually a, a cooling that occurs on just those components. The only heat that will be built up is before the conversion process on those two transistors there that drive the AC inverter before the conversion of the negative resistance injection. Um, and the heat will be built up here a little bit as, as the, the inverter draws current from the battery. <clears throat> There's basically a conversion occurring, or a cancellation. That's why you see the flickering of the bulb. So, this thing should be super efficient. We'll let it run for a while. 
Uh, that's 40 watts, another 40 watts, so that's 40 times 3, 120 watt load on this system. There's real heat there. 40 watts, full intensity, I'll step back, let you see it. It's almost like we're pulling power from nothing. Get this junk out of the way. So, I'm gonna check for heat on anything. Nope, still cool during operation. Wish I had a temperature gun to show you. Um, we'll use our clamp meter, see what it says. See how much power is being drawn. And I don't think this is accurate due to the nature of the power. Pulling, it might be pulling 10 amps from the battery before the conversion process of the negative resistance. So I'll back up, give you a good view of everything, really let you appreciate it. It's pretty bright. And I'll list the exact model of SIDAC I'm using too. And we're in the middle of my yard where there's absolutely no power. We're creating the power. So, you gotta, and I'm tripping too all over this crap, it's uneven. And I'm gonna probably sell these guys, not sure on the price. Um, again, I was hesitant to share it, it's super simple, super effective. This type of stuff has to be super simple. Super effective, uh, has to follow Occam's razor on how it works. It is extremely lightweight, extremely powerful. Um, I feel no heat generation in anything except for the um, the two transistors in the back here. Um, again, 12 volt battery, gets stepped up to 120 volts AC, pure sine wave, super efficient board. The board passes through an auto-tuning negative resistance injection network that cancels out, it senses the load that you're running and it injects the correct amount of negative resistance to cancel out the positive resistance and um, that's what makes it so efficient. It won't run forever but it is very efficient. Um, it also generates a small amount of wireless power that you can see here. The brightness of these bulbs is kind of drowning it out. So yeah, I figured I'd just show that, demonstrate that again. Can pick it up easily. Move it easily. If I put the oscilloscope on it, I can't read a frequency. See how it handles running an LED. It might flicker with an LED. And these bulbs are going to be hot. And I'm starting to attract bugs. I know LEDs like to flicker. Well, it runs it. A little dim, but it runs it. Try and run a brighter LED. It's a very bright LED. And these are all heat bulbs that are being run 40 watt. Oh yeah, that's very bright. That's incredibly bright.
It actually got the whole system brighter because the LED is a non-linear load and it probably enhances the negative resistance injection into the system. So that's crazy. We're attracting bugs. The radiant energy is very bright near the battery too. Hmm, interesting. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. We have just one heavy earth ground connection here going into the pipe, which can be removed. It's not essential for the device, but it does help with the um, wireless power. So. The earth ground isn't fully needed, but it does help a little bit with efficiency. And I'm going to pack this up and go in soon. I don't want to attract aliens or something. <laughs> if you good look at everything, I'll back up. But you appreciate it from a distance. Very bright over there. The whole table is getting warm from a device that can fit in the palm of my hand. Try and zoom in. Light bulbs are at, seeming to be at full intensity. And something else I wanted to show too. Yeah, so anyway, something else I wanted to show too is if I add a capacitor to the system, um, it could easily disrupt it and stop it from working very good. So, if I add a capacitor on the, um, negative resistance auto-tuning injection part, it'll destabilize things as you see. This is just a capacitor here that detunes it. That's how sensitive it is to tuning. So I'm just adding a capacitor here, destabilizing the negative resistance injection part. So figured I'd show that. Oh. I have to short this capacitor out because it'll hold a charge. <clears throat> so anyway, that's the device. Don't even really need the ground connection because of the auto-tuning negative resistant part. Um, again, it's remarkable how lightweight it is, how simple. Um, do an EMF detection. See, the thing is producing power pretty good. So, I'm probably going to pack this video up now and go in because it's dark out. And I'm in the kind of in the middle of a farm field. Um, so, I'll start disconnecting the lights. As you see, there's that flicker. Disconnecting everything while we still have light. That's how remarkably small the device is. Fits in the palm of your hand, no problem. I'll feel for heat. Nothing is warm at all. There's zero warmth in the side axe, the transistor, or the capacitors here that inject negative resistance in the circuit. There's even hardly any heat on these back transistors. There's minimal heat in the system. So, 
that's that look at the light bulbs dead simple and those bulbs are hot that's burning so feel free to like comment subscribe join the patreon and this was a breakthrough and I was hesitant to share it but I did